All right, I'll try to make this quick. Uh, and I will tell you that there's other people that have done videos on this that just they do a better job of explaining it, but they're using uh, different products. So I'm going to show you what I use to make Android Auto work on the 2024 Road Glide. So right here, I've got the uh, this AI box. I got it off Amazon. I forget what it costs. I think it's less than 100 bucks if I remember correctly. All right, looks just like that. And the way that I have it set up is, so on this side right here, this is what plugs into, this is a, on the, there's a USB-C connector here, and there is a uh, regular USB, uh, I guess USB-A, whatever, over here. So on the side with the USB-C, that's the side that plugs into the motorcycle. And when you plug that into the motorcycle, the uh, the bike will recognize it as the AI box and will connect to it. If it doesn't, you can go through just like connecting any device and connect up to it. Uh, but it will connect up and show the AI box on the list of connected devices. Um, and then once you do that, if you go and you try to hit start um, CarPlay, it'll keep telling you that you need a headset. Okay, I know some smart boxes maybe don't have this issue, but with this one you do. So I have the Madehawk um, uh, microphone. So basically what this does, uh, there's other videos and other posts that talk about where this right here, um, this, this Madehawk connector will, will trick the bike into thinking that there is a microphone connected, right? Uh, I think some people even cut this off. Uh, I don't. I just put this all uh, into the storage container and just kind of leave it there. But So that's how this is set up, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do the second half of this video where you see it's connected to the bike, right? So you have the uh, the Madehawk, um, basically a, a simulating the headset here, got the device, USB-C connector on the device, this is a little adapter, um, and then it runs to the motorcycle here. Now what you're gonna see, and I'm gonna move so I can block that sunlight a little bit here, what you're gonna see is when you start skyline it's going to recognize the first thing it's going to do and it takes a minute um, skyline os is not setting any speed records it's going to recognize the ai box autumn <clears throat> it automatically recognizes the ai box um, and now i've already connected the uh, made hawk device as a headset <clears throat> i'll talk about that here a little bit at the end so it has not recognized it yet, but what you're going to see here, if you were to go to devices, you will see that, uh, see the Madehawk is listed there and it will recognize that uh, AI box um, and you'll see it show up on that paired device list. And when that happens, it'll automatically start uh, and connect to the, uh, to the AI box. There it went. So it's starting Apple CarPlay automatically the way it would if you had Apple CarPlay. Um, now what it's doing right now is it's not connecting to Android Auto on the phone that right there is the internal software on the AI box it's not connected to Android Auto yet that speed play you see up there you have to Bluetooth your phone to the box now I've already done this so I don't have to do it and then once you do it it'll automatically start this process right here and the box will Bluetooth Okay, so it starts Android Auto there, right? Um, sorry, my phone, when it started Android Auto, stopped recording. Um, so now it, it, it automatically connected uh, and started Android Auto. So what's happening is the, the bike is connected to the AI box here and the Madehawk headphone, which allow it to start CarPlay. And then it goes from the box. The box is Bluetoothed to your your phone. Okay, so the box is actually the interface between Android Auto and the bike, and it's fooling the bike into thinking that this is a CarPlay device, but it, it'll display the Android Auto plus Netflix or anything else, which I don't use while I'm riding, obviously. But you could do that if you wanted to go through that. So <clears throat> that is essentially how. It, the um, I use this AI box that I got from Amazon to get Android Auto to work on the bike. Now I haven't 
gone on a ride using it yet, and I do have Harley Davidson's uh, navigation for now. Uh, I got that when I thought that Android Auto wouldn't work with these at all. But um, I'm going to ride this this week uh, and this weekend and see if you know. Hey, does it hold up? Does it disconnect? Are there any glitches? But so far, every time I once I got it connected the first time, and it, it took a little trial and error. Once I got it connected the first time, the way I just described it. Um, anytime it's plugged in Android Auto automatically starts up and then all I have to do is if I want to go to the Android Auto screen I go here and there it is and I can uh, I can use my you know my selector right there if I want to I can use the touch screen um, I can search uh, you know do whatever I want to do and then uh, if you want to go back, you know, you can do it this way. I mean, there's, you know, it has a lot of functionality because it's not just Android Auto. You also have the built-in software from the uh, AI box, which provides you those, you know, the Netflix and the other things if you wanted to use that, which I, I don't suggest. Um, all right. I hope this helps you guys. Keep the shiny side up and we'll see you out there.